but one thing I wonder uh, is that will Virgil? I think Virgil will have something unique, a unique ending for the Bloody Palace because every character in um in Devil May Cry uh, Five in the Bloody Palace had a had a cool, um, interesting, unique ending for them. So I think it will happen for Virgil. Let's get this free kill, free kill, baby. You Come shall on. die. Nothing? Alright, let's all good though. But I wonder what would be the the ending cutscene for that. For for um that uh his blood palace mode. Cause I'm pretty sure he'll have something unique. Every character uh has something unique, you know. The uh ver I I do I have the one I think my favorite one is V is the fucking Kylo Ren fucking uh move. He like fucking his turn is fucking came into a fucking uh Lightsaber, it's fucking it's so cool. Like they acknowledge that yeah, this this dude he kind of looks like him So fuck it, right? Might as well make him look like him uh, But you know, oh god That's cool Dante was the little um, you know, he puts his hair back to look like Virgil and then um, He has the the all the Lucifer uh, What is it? What do you call it? Lucifer weapons those type of red things from Lucifer's weapons? And then shape is a heart, which is cool. Uh, Nero's is the, you know, I want more power, basically becoming Virgil. You know, I like that. It's cool. So I do wonder what, Vir what Virgil will be. Oh my god, what the fuck? God damn it, game. The fuck is wrong with you? Come on, easy money. Let's go. You're not faster than me. You're not faster than me. Let's go. No! I try to switch it. Let's go. <laughs> I try to switch the direction of the final hit of Force Edge. Yeah, I try to switch it to, to the guy that was going to hit me, but I, I, I don't think you can. Yeah, you can. You cannot switch the directions. Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, good. That technically is the last hit. Yeah, that's just one full on button move. Ah, but well, you know, I try. I try. It happens to the best of us, okay? It happens to the best of us. Let's see. It's gonna be one in here. I lied. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> In the money. Hello, good old friend. Ready for uh, round two? Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry. I keep, keep failing. Keep doing dumb mistakes. I'm sorry. So update on the PS5 for a special edition launch day. Um, I still have not gotten a PS5 yet as of this time of recording. Will I get a PS5 on day one of the launch? Probably not. But honestly, I'm not too worried. Uh, I am a little sad because I won't be playing a uh, special edition on day one. You know, but, I'll, but there's still, you know, it's not the end of the fucking world, you know? Um, most likely the they'll, they'll, they'll be available days after launch, maybe the day at launch you could go and buy one. But then again, it kind of would be kind of dangerous because you know with the whole pandemic happening. But we'll see. Not to worry about it. Should I get more stat points? Ah! Uh, I'll take it. Oh yeah, with this one, I use Dante's guns to light my way. With this one, I just gotta gotta wing it. Try to go, try to go slow. Ah, where is it? Oh. We're we're all good. We're good. We are good. 
No worries. We in here. Let's go for a devil trigger. Let's go. Alright. One of the um, not so good fights, but you know. It's whatever. Let's get it. Okay, let's not get that though. We're in it. Fucking hate doing this with Virgil though. Ah! Uh. Get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. We're in it, it's all good, it's all good. Jump. I always get scared of this shit because I, I hate getting hit. But good that we ah oh fuck, motherfucker. Ah! We have invisibility on our jump, so we'll be okay. Get the fuck over here, you little shit. <laughs> That. Fucked up. It's okay though. Let's get it. Mm. Bop, bop. Okay, now we're good. We're good. Now we can actually finish it here. Oh no! Open up, you little shit. <laughs> God damn it! All right, taunt. Oh no! <laughs> Shit. Hold up. Ah! It's okay. I just need one shot. Like I said, I just need one shot. Hey, and it's a double S rank. God damn, I should have worked a little bit on the style points. God damn it. In my opinion, the best the the best style meter or style system so far that Devil May Cry has, like the best one so far. Well, it's actually mm, different. Okay. Mm, it's it's difficult because there, there are two style systems that I do love a lot, but they both in their own ways suck because of how the game was designed and well, one is on how the game was designed on the mechanics on how bullshit it is. The other one is just bad level designs and bad enemy placements um, and the way how the style points works. Uh, of course, the games I'm talking about are DMC and Devil May Cry 5. Of course, it's those games, because I think those games uh, are the, the two of the ones, the best ones that, that have the best uh, style rank system. Uh, the style meter when you're fighting enemies, the style points, I think that DMC does a really good job on, you know, showing you which point, which, you know, which moves do what. Uh, which the best damage, etc. You know, it gives you little extra stuff, especially when you have perfect evades. You get points for that, and the style increases. I like that. That's what they do a lot of good job. But the thing that sucks about that is that the game is very stupid because it's bullshit. You can get S rings really fast, like really, really fast, and I do like it. Uh, it does make feel make casual players feel like okay, this is cool. I like it. I dig it. You know, it's cool. But sometimes you could really break the style meter in DMC. I haven't fully tested it in in a definitive edition. Uh, if they fix it or not. I know I did a playthrough, a playthrough with me and my boy. Style meter is still kind of, you know, you know, a little weird. Uh, I hadn't properly tested, you know, fully. But I know in the OG DMC, it is not that good it fucking it sucks i do like the style meter that's one thing i do like that it points you on all the shit that you've been doing but the overall how you get s rank and how you how it the end goal how it great how it ranks you is pretty dumb you could get s rings easily you get you can abuse the, the, the system for sure and i think it's fucking dumb i hate that shit We'll get um Starfall level two. 
And as for Devil May Cry 5, the one thing I love about the style meter on uh, the style points is, of course, the fucking music. I think the music, the dynamic music thing in it is so fucking good. It is amazing. I love it. And I do love that the announcer does say the, you know, brutal, you know, crazy smoking sexy style. I, I do like that. I like that, especially I like that from DMC. It's cool. I like it. But on how he grades you um, at the end of the mission, it's dumb because you got to get a certain amount of points to get an S rank at the end of the mission. If you're aiming to go for that perfect S run, especially on higher difficulties, it is bullshit. It is bullshit and it fucking sucks. So I do like it for like the dynamic music, but other than that, like it's, I hate it. So hopefully in future games, they fix it. Because they, they both have the potential. I fucked up. Where are you going? Where are you going? Let's go. Don't explode. <laughs> oh, you always do that. Fuck that, because I know it will fucking explode. Okay, this shit. Um, ah, uh, always. Oh, fuck, it's always. There's a blue orb here. To get that. Oh, fuck. I know. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. Do I got this? I don't fucking know. I don't got this. Okay, I do got this. I got this. I gotta go. Ba, and then ba. Got this. I got this. Easy money. Fuck, I did the wrong one. <laughs> okay. Fuck. How? Okay, it's okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Shit, it's... How do I... What if I try to, like... Wall jump. There we go. I just got a wall jump from there. Okay, okay, okay. In it. In it, baby. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay. I just had to wall jump on, on that fucking ledge. On that little small fucking ledge right there. But we got it. Cool. But yeah, hopefully they do fix that in future Devil May Cry games. Um, Because right now, there's no perfect, you know, style meter, in my opinion. Um, perfect is like getting because Devil May Cry 5 it, it's good, but at the same time, it's very confusing. Oh my, fu I got fucking blasted, dude. <gasps> I got keep getting blasted and shit. Let's get it. Jesus Christ. In it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, we're good. I only got version of that. I think I got level one. Fuck. I'm kind of scared here. Die. That's why. That's why I'm scared. I always hated this fucking place. Oh fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Just those things give me anxiety, dude. Fuck that shit. I always hated that. I, always, I just hate when I'm around it. It's not this part, yeah, but the other parts that are coming up. I just hate them. I just hate walking through this because I know if I, if I move a little bit to the right or to the left, I'm going to get fucking sliced. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, but I still love this game. Uh, but back on the subject on the style meter, I think to have a perfect style meter, it, you know, you got to points got to be, you know, not bullshit to fucking get if you want to get that perfect s rank because in devil may cry 5 to get perfect s ranks you do got to do some dumb shit like for example to get some s ranks with nero you gotta keep jump canceling grab him jump canceling grab him and grab him and then taunt in the air so you can get those those fucking um those s ranks because because sometimes you gotta you gotta attack oh shit you gotta attack the enemies while you have a triple s rank to get um 
Because for Dante Mos Dymo, 600 is the requirements to get an S rank. 6,000 6, points, my bad, is to get is the standard to get an actual S rank for that specific area battle. And uh, sometimes you gotta taunt, you gotta royal guard, you gotta do your you know your long taunts that you buy that cost three million uh, red orbs. So you can, so you are able to fucking attack the enemies when you have um, S rank, triple S rank. And getting that is pretty stupid because you're focusing on just you know getting the the triple S rank before you attack, and it's dumb. I didn't like that. So there should be, you know, hopefully in future Devil May Cry games, they they improve on the style points. And sometimes it isn't just because you got to do some dumb stuff. It's sometimes it's the reason you got to do those dumb stuff is because there's not enough enough enemies. There's not enough. Um, you have the wrong. Oh, what the fuck? You have the wrong enemies placed there, and it's fucking dumb. Oh shit. Let's go. My first white orb, really? <laughs> but yeah, that's the one thing that kind of uh, one of the other pet peeves that I have for Devil May Cry 5 that I didn't point out in one of my videos is the style meter or the style rank. The style rank in general. There we go. The one thing I do like about um, DMC and Devil May Cry 5 is they don't require you to um, to have, oh my god, to have a set amount of orbs, or red orbs, to get an S rank. That's what I do like about DMC and Devil May Cry 5. They don't, that's not required anymore. And of course the, the time meter in Devil May Cry 5, they took that away, so you don't have to rush. Uh, the mission, of course, you could. Of course, it, it does still grade you for beating the game fast, but it just it just gives you extra orbs, and I like that. What the fuck? He was just chilling. <laughs> he was just chilling. He was just fucking sleeping. Because for DMC, there is a, there is a, a set amount of points you need to get for um to get an S rank, but the thing is, it doesn't it doesn't tell the exact points you have right now. You just you only way, the only way to find out is at the end of the mission, which sucks, but you know, it's all good though. Oh god. Ooh. Let's go. Come on. I missed. Come on. Summon swords all the way. Because literally I have no animation for that. I mean, I do have animation, but it's just me standing and I just shoot. Easy money. I didn't jump cancel shit, but it's all good though. Let's fucking go, Virgil. Let's fucking go, Virgil. Oh, I didn't fucking, I didn't fucking press anything there, dude. Fuck, I got too close. Easy money. In the fucking money. Come on. Let's go. We got some DT. Let's get it. Oh, I didn't fucking notice she was in that form already. Oh, fuck. Okay.
I'm scared. Oh my god, Virgil. Come on, I need to get some DT on that. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't think there's any good way to break that, is there? God damn it. I'd rather play the safe route. The safe route, baby. Now you wanna do that shit. Now you wanna do that shit. Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, it actually went pretty well. That actually went really well. Do we get an S rank on that? Maybe. Maybe. Fuck. God damn it, orbs. See, this is the reason why I'm glad they took that off as a requirement for an S rank in Devil May Cry 5. And Devil May Cry um, um and DMC Devil May Cry. Because the only thing that the things they grade you in DMC uh are time, style points, and item use. And of course deaths. But that's it. It really isn't nothing too bad, honestly. And Devil May Cry 5 only ranks you on the style points you got in the area uh that's required for you know the, the ranking of the in, to the in the end of the mission. And of course, if you don't get hit, that's even more points, and I like that. You can't get anything until like level three, uh, Dark Slayer, which is it's end up being a while. So, might as well upgrade the guns. Boom. Oh, this is a short mission. You can literally just pass all the fucking enemies. Not all the enemies, but you know, most of the enemies. Let's go. Oh god, no! Fucking cunt. You deserve death. Hey, look at that. God damn it. Did I get just get I really got hit on the first part of this fucking mission? God damn, I tried to like not try to not get fucking hit. I just gotta put this shit in here and kaboom. Very easy fucking mission. Of course, there's a secret mission over here, but I'm not going to do it because I don't feel like we need to. I really just got hit there, didn't I, in the beginning? What the fuck? Like, <laughs> what the fuck, Brian? What, what are you doing? I got hit there. <laughs> what are you doing, Brian? Goddamn. Right, these fucking fuckers, dude. I should rank, like, the most annoying enemies to fight in Devil May Cry. <laughs> Uh, these these are up there <laughs> well I guess they, they are annoying in a sense especially when you find like different types of enemies oh god oh god let's go let's fucking get it taunt get some DT Go full DT. No. Okay, we're good. There's a new camera angle. What the fuck? Let's go. Let's go. Nice. Easy. God, I fucking love summon swords, man. Summon swords are summon swords are so fucking cool. In Devil May Cry 4, they become even much fucking cooler. God damn, it's it's just so fucking cool, man. Oh, like why isn't it fucking cool, man? I mean, it's fucking summon swords, dude. It's so fucking cool. Like Devil May Cry 4 made it so much. 
fucking cooler. God fucking damn it. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Oh no! <gasps> ah! <laughs> go for the orbs. I fucking missed the orbs. Oh fuck. Ah. You thought. You thought. Ah oh, shit. Okay, yeah, we got hit pretty bad here, dude. God damn. Yeah, we got hit really bad here. God damn. I am not confident with this fucking grade. <laughs> oh yeah, this fucking cutscene. They didn't re bother to replace... I mean, they just... They just replaced Dante's model with Virgil, I mean... <laughs> but of course! That's what Virgil does! But of course, that is Virgil. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I guess that's cool, right? <laughs> I guess that's cool. Yeah. See, the damage, they're very nice. Very nice on damage. Just style and orbs. Uh, it's not good. Got hit in the beginning? <laughs> nah. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs>